Hey everyone and thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm going to show you how to, how to use fields, how to insert fields into text, and also how to use custom drawing properties. In a later tutorial I'll show you how I make my title blocks. I have my own, kind of my own system. I've seen lots of other people that use a similar strategy as well. But anyways, let's, let's uh, figure out how to use these fields. So whenever you encounter, or whenever you want to add a field, you just double click inside the text, right click, and you'll see this insert field option. So this text here is going to be my, my sheet number. I want my sheet number to match my layout number by de default. So right now I have, this is just a single line text, and it's, um, the justify is set to fit. That way it'll never be too wide on me. It'll just make the, the text appear narrower if, uh, if more characters appear. But anyways, I'm going to double click, activate the text editor for single line text, right click, and go to insert field. So what I'm looking for specifically, I need a system variable right at the bottom here. And that system variable is called C tab. So I just have to uh, scroll to it. There we go. No format, I'll just click OK. Okay, so what, what should happen here is my um, my layout number should appear here. Sometimes you have to hit refresh for that to happen. Oh, it didn't. Standard, let's see. I think I clicked on the wrong field. Let's go to edit field. Oh, C tab style, yeah, I didn't. Uh, there we go, this will fix it, so I'll click OK. There we go. So most of the time, you'll if I change this, I'll have to regenerate. You could right click and go to update field, or I think you have to do it from inside the text. You can type update date field, but the easiest way to update your fields is just to hit regenerate. By default, your fields will update whenever you have, whenever you do that. There's an option that'll make it not do that though. Um, I don't want to get into that in this video. So the gray background in my field, it, it tells me that these objects are in fact fields, but I don't, I don't really want that. It, it uh, makes it hard for me to see what's going on, right? So what you do is you just go to field display, set that to zero, and now that, that um, gets rid of that gray background. So when you double click in your text editor, that gray background reappears. So that's how you know that your, uh, your text contains a field, whether it contains a field or not. So anyways, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna right click, then I'm gonna go to insert field. Now I'm gonna insert, um, let's see, a custom property I made. I'll show you how to do this in, in, just, in just a bit here. I'll go to okay. I'll do the same right here. I'll go, I'll right click, insert field. So right here we have a, a project number field and it, it has four uh, dashes. So if your field is empty, like doesn't even contain a space, this will appear. So I'm gonna show you something now, DWG props, that's drawing properties. You can access that from here too as well. You go to file drawing properties, but um, I just like typing it at the command line, it's much quicker. So I have a project number that's blank, right? So if I want that to remain blank, but I don't want those four dashes to appear, I just do spacebar, okay, and I'll have to regenerate, and that disappears. The problem with that is I can't select that text now. It's still there, it's just impossible to touch. So I'll go back to, to DJ, um, my drawing properties, DWG props. So that project number, So just be aware, if the if the field value is empty, it'll put four dashes in, like that. That's what we, what you'll see on your screen. If you want it to appear empty, just put a space, just one space. You can do that. But just be aware that you won't be able to access the text if you want to edit it unless you put something in here.
So I'll update that. I'll, I'll hit regen and now my project number appears. So I have a project title. Basically, the reason I make fields for these is because you only have to change them in one place now. So I think that's uh, pretty convenient. So this kind of shoots off the page, so I can always adjust the text like this. Or I can scale it. And that will fix that problem. So here I've put fields in for all my all my revisions. So I have these uh, these custom properties made for all of these. This is kind of convenient, but to be honest, this might in an actual office environment you might struggle to get people to use this. But anyways, let's uh, let's put a date in. Now we're updated. So if you have multiple title blocks, sometimes sometimes you don't each sheet doesn't have the same revisions. Sometimes revisions will only occur on one sheet. So this way it allows you to only only put the revisions that you need on each sheet but still have the revision descriptions consistent between sheets. So this system again it's not it's not perfect. It's not something I would recommend unless everyone in in your in your office is on board or else it'll just end up uh, creating problems. Okay, so next I'm just going to create some text. So I'm going to quickly show you how I made those those uh, custom drawing properties. Just go to DWG Props. Just go to Add. So now I'm going to I'm going to insert this as a field in the text I just made. There it is right there. Click okay. So I'm basically just scratching the surface in regards to what you can do when you insert fields. So that was the basics of using fields and drawing properties. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.